Wake up, wake up, sunshine. It's a new day, a new opportunity to cultivate joy. I am glad you are here with me. From where I am, I open my heart to yours. All the warmth of my heart I gently offer. Take what you need. We will start with an affirmation practice. If it is possible for you, ground your feet wherever you are, standing or sitting. Feel the earth beneath you, sustaining you. Your spine is tall and straight. Your abdomen is active. You can feel your fire. Now, take a deep breath. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Close your eyes if it feels right for you. Inhale. And exhale. Now repeat to yourself, I am loving consciousness. I am. I am. I am. I am loving consciousness. Love runs through me. Love sustains me. Love surrounds me. I am loving consciousness. Place your right hand on your abdomen, just above the belly button, right in the third chakra. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. Relax your arms and breathe. Now open your eyes and prepare for the topic of the day. Today, I want us to think about friendship. Who are the friends you feel close to right now? Who are the friends you would like to be closer to? Friendships, like all relationships, are a school of life. In friendship, we learn boundaries. We learn to be vulnerable. We love. We can get hurt. We disappoint. Someone can betray us. Friendships are a beautiful tool for growth. Today, I want us to focus on the friends we feel close to right now. I want you to think about them and reflect on what makes your friendship feel safe and reliable. If you don't feel close to anyone right now, I want you to think of the quality of friendships you want to build, and that will come to you with your humble intention. Some of the signs of a healthy friendship are mutual respect, encouragement, support, a mutual celebration of our small and significant accomplishments, laughs, intimacy, and good communication. You can set boundaries with those friends, telling them what you need and when they have crossed a line, and they would listen. They will also be honest with you and tell you what they need. What are the things you receive from your closest friends? What are the things you offer to your closest friends? Do you feel a balance between what they ask from you and what you ask from them? Do you think there is a balance between what you expect from them and what they expect from you? 
balance in a healthy friendship looks very different in every case. We all have different love languages, emotional skills, and deep wounds. But if you sit with yourself, you will know where the balance is. Giving and receiving are both ways of love. When you have trouble receiving, it can be hard on the giving end. When you have difficulty giving, it can be challenging for the ones who love you. If you have trouble receiving, it is good to look at the places where, instead of asking for what you need, you might be tempted to take, plot, and manipulate so no one sees that you need something. Receiving can be a cure that unlocks a healthy giving. Try it out. I want you to carry on today with the remembrance of those friends who feel close to you. Feel them in your heart. Wish them good. Bless them in all their projects as you bless yourself. From where I am, I open my heart to yours. All the warmth of my heart I gently offer. Have a blessed day, baby. See you on the other side.